Okay, so welcome back to Don's Tech. How, how do you say? How do you say? Doesn't matter. Your channel sucks anyway. But anyway, welcome back to Don's Technology. Today I am your host, Demetrius. We are going to do Russian experiment. Very cool. First, you need a lipo battery, okay? Any lipo battery will do. You need lipo. Second thing you need is water. This is water from Mother Chernobyl. Good from the springs of Russia. Hmm. So anyway, you take your water and there's water in it. You see there's water in it. You take the water, oh shit. Battery, and you just don't put the battery in the water. That's so no good. If you put the water in the battery, you get a food. So what you do need is more than suit. Suit. Salute. 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 Salut. Salt. Morton salt. You need Morton salt. You take the Morton salt. You take the water from the springs of Chernobyl. And you for and take the dip and you put it in like this. Yeah. So. So you maybe a little more salt is required. You never know. You never want to be too safe. You want to put plenty of salt in the solution. After you put the salt in the solution, you then take your lipo battery and you submerge like so. This is a safe way of killing the lipo battery. The salt in the water neutralizes the electrons in the battery, causing a safe and slow discharge. After 24 hours, the battery will be dead. No more boom! Just be dead. And then the lipo battery is safe to take back to Mother Russia, China to get recycled and buried in the ground. Welcome back to the channel. Man, it's good to see you guys again. I missed y'all. How y'all been? Y'all need to leave me a comment below, man. It's crazy because when I look in the camera, I see like 10 million of you guys in like this little black hole of like, you know, the lens of the camera. It's just like, who's ever on the other side? What's up? So anyway, yes. It is true, let me pick the camera up. It is true, you can safely neutralize a battery. It doesn't have to be a lipo battery, it can be any battery, but you can safely neutralize it by putting it in salt water. It will not blow up, it won't do nothing wrong. The salt in the water, like I was saying, neutralizes the battery and it safely kills it, dead. After this, this battery will be safe you won't have to worry about it going off. You won't have to, you won't even need to put it in a, a lipo bag. It will be neutralized. Good advice. All right, so today's video, I am putting the tires on this bad boy. The wife is not home. I just installed another security camera. That's why my ladder is here. Let's go outside real quick. So this would make, oh, I need to fix it. It's looking at us. Uh, but it's supposed to be looking this way and basically I want it to be able to see like my entire property because I have another camera there that watches the driveway. Uh, so that will make number six. 
And then like we also have a camera in the garage. Duh, gotta have one of them. So anyway, um, I still have a little bit of lighter fluid left wherever I put it. There it is, right there. Still have a little bit of this left. Um, I think we're going to use it today. Also, check this out. Look what I made. I made a custom battery pack. I made a custom battery pack last night. So these two little black wires. And then if we touch them together, they complete the circuit. Cause I've already used, I've already connected the positive together. But anyway, just twist them like so, and then just tuck them up inside and that turns on the headlights and the ground effects or the chassis lights that are up underneath there so one of the reasons why i made an external battery pack like that and then covered in carbon fiber is because i got tired of having to reach in there and disconnect the wire to pull the body off because now i can just i can just pull the body off and we're gold so that's the reason why i did that and i really liked it and then you can see here where i wired it all up and stuff and then there's my uh my positive lead right there taped together and then or actually it's it's shrink wrap soldered together and then all i gotta do is twist the two negative ends together through the window voila lights pretty cool right man you guys are awesome make sure to leave a like on this video I knew this was going to happen. Look. I don't have any steering. The, the throttle works. No steering. And I cannot believe that. I actually have a brand new servo in the cart. A brand new servo in the cart. And I didn't buy it because I was like, well, no, I'll just buy it when my servo goes bad. I just didn't think that that would be today. So what I'm going to do is, unfortunately, I'm going to turn this off real quick. I'm going to open up inside and see what the hell is going on. Maybe it just wiggled out. Maybe, I don't know. Uh, it's probably, though, burnt out. It's very notorious that these cheap little servos burnt out. I think it's like 20 bucks to buy a new one to replace the same one with the old one. But if this one's failing and failed why the heck would i go out and buy a new one that already failed you know what i mean like why buy the same model no i'm gonna buy something new better um and the one that i have my eye on is in the 60 dollar range it's a high speed high torque servo for eight scale on-road off-road trucks and when that comes i'll do a video on that too yes i'm not getting anything i unplugged it replugged it cleaned the plugs everything so what i have done is gone over here and grabbed the grasshopper because it has a servo on it and check this out look there was a damn on off switch on this thing the entire time i could have just used this on off switch for the truck lights instead of wiring up the way i did the reason why i wired it up the way i did is because i didn't have one of them on off switch come to find out there was one right here all along but anyway there's a servo here um it's an old futaba one i'm going to plug this in and see if i can get that to react because maybe it's the receiver maybe it's the esc i don't know right now i'm thinking it's the servo but i need to plug that in to find out for sure Oh, looky there. So that's working. So that tells me, yep, that server is fried. All right, I'll order a new one and then we will pick this video back up. Sorry, guys. High speed. How much is it? 44 bucks. That's not bad. It's in stock. I can have it by the 26. Let's see here. Is that the one that I want? Let's check out the specs. There we go. What do the specs say? Uh, um, six volt, nine second, 
208 ounces, 7.4 volts, uh, 0.75 seconds at 250 ounces, and then 8.4 volts, 275 ounces at 0.65. So those are actually pretty good times, and that's plenty of ounces of torque, I would say. 200 ounces of torque? Yeah. All right. All right, so yeah, we'll go ahead and get this one. All right, the order has been placed. Good deal. Wonder why this thing burnt out. I mean, look how little it is. Seriously? Yeah, I can see why this thing burnt out. They expect this little tiny servo to handle this big heavy truck. They're out of their mind. No wonder why it burnt out. Alright, well, the new one will be here shortly. So, I'll pick it up then. Maybe, hopefully nothing else will break when we go to do the next fire video. I hope you guys like this video. Make sure to leave a like. I'll see you guys in the next one. And as always, you guys be cool. And this thing is crap.